Hello guys, uh, Maverick here. Um, first video in a little while, I've been a bit busy. Just getting stuff done, getting stuff ready to head off to college. Uh, I was out to camp this weekend for my birthday, hanging out with some friends and stuff. Uh, but uh, just out here flying the IL-2M Sturmovic. A very pretty plane indeed. Um, it's a great, it's a great ground attack plane. And I have no idea what I-15s are doing in here. Um, I wish I did know. Anyways, just flying around, making some money really. That's what this, this plane is great for that. Probably my two favorite money makers in the game are the IL-2 variants and the uh, PBJ which I will be posting a video of that sometime soon, hopefully. I hope that guy doesn't crash into the game right now. Um, but anyways, bit of a bit of channel news here. I will be heading off to college in a couple of weeks, actually. It's next... Not this Saturday, but the one after that, next Saturday. Um, on the 23rd to move into my dorm and get everything set up. Hopefully I will have a new computer by then that, so, that I can take with me. I'm not sure. Um, anyways, going off to college, there's a couple of things that are going to keep me from posting videos as often as I would like. One, I'll just be busy. It's college I'm going there for uh, mass, not, oh, I'm sorry, major, I'm majoring in uh, mechanical engineering and minoring in aerospace because, you know, I love things that fly. Uh, but they, the internet there, I'm not sure how good it is, how well it works, any of that. Um, so I'm going to try and keep up with my work there. Hopefully I'll be getting a job so I can help pay for it. All the school work, all of that. Um, maybe if I ever do get into live streaming or if my roommates happen to be gamers, maybe I can feature them in some of my videos too. Uh, anyways, um, while I'm there, the internet, I'm there for four years of course, maybe five, I'm not sure. But uh, while I'm there, of course, it's going to be a bit tough to post videos due to internet, just internet, uh, everybody, like so many people using the same internet, and just my workload. So hopefully it won't be too much, and hopefully I'll be able to keep posting videos, on, keep working on videos. I don't do much in terms of editing, even though I would love to get into more editing stuff make some cinematics maybe, but uh, I guess we'll just, we'll see, we'll see what happens, we'll see where that brings me, and wish me luck I guess because I plan on having fun, but I plan on probably in college might end up just kicking my ass, I don't know. Anyways. That being said, all of that, now that we're through all of that, uh, back to War Thunder. Um, this is probably one of my favorite maps to fly with the IL-2M, just because if you look at the map, Zhengzhou, all your targets are pretty, pretty far away from the action. You don't have to worry too much about getting, well, uh, people diving on you because they're all going to be sort of centering themselves around the cluster of blue. At least the enemies will be like that. Kai-102 is attacking ground targets. Um, so you're not like right in the middle of the action. And then the bridge, bridges here. Such easy targets. Two rockets. We'll just take it out instantly. You just have to remember if you're doing something like this, you have to stay low and usually as fast as you can go, but um,
you don't need to go like light speed or anything unless that happens to show up. A 109 who happened to be thinking and came our way and there's probably three three IL-2s. There's a couple fighters over here too so we should be safe. But it's still something that you have to watch out for. Now the IL-2 is such a good, it's a great ground attack plane but even on medium tanks you can't, your cannons won't penetrate their frontal armor in many cases. So here's what it's what it's great for. Put the combat flaps down, reduce the throttle a bit so I'm not going so fast. And those rockets that I have, launch them into the soft targets, hope they hit something. Wasn't the best launch in my opinion. Drop the bombs on the armored column. Hit absolutely nothing. Use your 30 cals, your 7.62s in the wings for the softer targets. I, my explosives, I could have made a much better run with my uh, bigger guns, the rockets and the bombs, but I wasn't wasn't paying much attention to where everything would be dropping. And usually AAA is should always AAA should always be a priority. Even though some many in many cases at lower altitude it won't screw you up so much, but it's still extremely dangerous. Now that we've completed that first run though, pull off a bit, turn back around. I usually don't weapon this plane unless I'm turning or in combat because it's it heats up fast and I would like to save the wet for later in case I have to run away from somebody. Come back around. This run will be should be a bit bring in a bit more money. And there's one medium tank gone. As long as you attack the medium tanks from the back, you're pretty much guaranteed a kill if you can, if you can aim, that is. I usually don't like using my 23mm cannons for the soft targets, but if they're being uh, particular, particularly a pain in the butt, I'll do it. But the thing I like about this, 21 ground targets already, I already have 1700 points. Not only am I doing a lot in terms of, if you look up at the uh, ticket bar, I'm wh whittling away at their tickets, but I'm also earning a lot of money. A lot of people focus a lot on just getting those air kills, getting all that, all that stuff. And then they grind their entire way up to, say, a jet. They might not have enough money because, to be honest, air kills. In realistic battles, at least, I know they've increased the rewards that you get. But it's still not much for the amount of time and effort that you invest in playing this. In playing those battles and when even with in-game money it's still an investment the money that you put into it and if you don't get the rewards that you should what's the point of playing so you do something like this and oh god I almost ground my tail wheel against the dirt there do something like this and you can take out an entire armored entire armored column like what I'm doing here and not only are you playing the objective and helping your team out in that sense but you're also helping yourself out greatly because you are earned, because it is possible to earn so much money now, I've played matches uh, for example with the PBJ that a single PBJ my one PBJ 
can not only hold its own if it get, comes under attack usually, if you know what you're doing, but you can carry the entire team. You can win that match for the team because that thing will take out a heavy tank with its 75 millimeter gun. Which is extremely useful to be able to do. And for example on Bulge, on all the enemy ground targets in, in that map are clustered around one one little area, or they're all clustered in the center of the map, which makes it extremely easy. It puts you in the middle of the action, but it also becomes extremely easy for you to get out there and take out all the light pillboxes, take out all the softer targets, and annihilate everything. And then once you take out those, once you get, once all that's gone, all you have to do is take out a couple of heavy tanks, and bada bing bada boom, your team wins the game. And if you have a squad of three or four PBJs, the match is the match can be over in five minutes before the guys who are all up there, up in the sky, climbing and fighting, dog fighting. Sure, they'll get they'll definitely get some kills, but it won't be a win through. Um, taking out all the air targets. It'll just... The ground target win is probably the most lucrative, I would have to say, in terms of research points and uh, research points and silver lions. And that's what the ground... The gr that's why I love the ground attack roll. Ground attack is my jam. And I just... I like making things explode. It's much easier to guarantee that you'll get points for something when you're doing ground attack, as I am, than if you are fighting, dog fighting, because in many cases there are people who will just swoop in and take your kills, and it's always annoying when people do that, right? Well, you don't have to deal with that here. Anyways, out of ammo. There's only one tank left in the armored column because I missed him. Uh, two bridges out, an entire an armored column decimated. I have I have over 2,500 points here. I'm ready to I'm ready to go home and get ready for my next run. There's only two guys on the enemy team. There's only two guys on my team, and I already know where one of them is. I-61 chasing down that P-40. Uh, so. Ready to go. I just gotta say that the IL-2M is such a great ground attacker. It... That's what it... I mean, it was designed... Everything over in the western... Western front in World War II was very high altitude, climbing up interceptors and escorts, essentially, and level bombers. And that's There's nothing wrong with that. It worked great. Sort of. Many people died. Almost too many, I would have to say. But anyways, everything on the eastern front, everything between Russia and Japan and Russia and Germany, it was low to the ground. It was down low, nitty-gritty, ground attack supporting the troops. None of that tactical bombing bullshit. And Russia had very few, uh, or not tactical bombing, but strategic bombing. Russia had very few strategic bombers, I believe. Uh, the one strategic bomber that they ever really used was, I don't know the model, I don't know what it's called, I don't remember, but it was essentially a morale bomb. It would go ahead and it would bomb enemy positions before a fight, kind of demoralize the enemy, and boost the morale of your incoming foot soldiers and tanks and everything else. Make them feel better that the 
targets that they that were just hit were kind of softened up. In the Pacific Theater, I would honestly have to say it's a bit of it's a it was a mixture of both. There was uh, strategic bombing in the form of the island hopping campaign, and B-17s and or B-29s would fly ahead and bomb the crap out of one of the Japanese controlled islands and then the landing would begin and then you have your air support, your F4Us, those guys had they had locks, of, they could carry rockets, they could carry bombs, the F6 Hellcats, any plane that could carry munitions was used in the ground attack role as uh, support, close air support. Anyways, I'm just telling this guy a nice job because there's a that uh, Kai 61 or Key 61, whatever you want to call it, on the enemy team got extremely greedy and was chasing this P40, chased him all the way back to the base. This guy in the P40 did a great job, dragged the Key 61 back to base, bait him over, just keep him flying over the AAA until he gets shot down. That's probably the best way to do it. If you got nothing else to do, just bait them and get them killed by your triple A. Uh, he's saying he's gonna wait for me, but I think that's just so he can use me as bait. Maybe, maybe not. I guess we'll find out. I wish I could see this goddamn runway through the glare of the sun. I don't think we'll need any more power, so let's drop this down to... Oh, sh... That was a bit... There we go. Booyah. Donuts. Now, rearmed in about 20 seconds. Yeah, this P-40 is actually being smart about what he's doing. He's waiting for me so we can stick together and probably use me as bait to take out the enemy. But, you know, I don't care. I've got 2,600 points. I've got the highest score in the game. And... This is what I love about ground attack. Is you just, it is where the money is. This IL-2 up in the air again. And rather than getting greedy, well actually not getting greedy, but being thorough and cleaning up that last tank, there's no way that that last medium tank on that column that I just raped can affect the battle anymore. He is alone, no way to cross the river, and just screwed in general. So, we'll move it on to the next column, and we'll probably end up meeting our little Japanese friend on the way there. Move it on to the next column, take out that tank column, and hopefully meet our Japanese friend and take him out, but I'm in it for the ground kills, I couldn't care, I, I couldn't care less about air kills, to be honest, because 2,600 points, that's gonna, that's gonna bring me some money. Uh, SP-40, gotta kind of strategize with him.
anyways, the IL-2, one thing that was great about it, it could hold its own a little in a battle, sometimes. Um, it wasn't meant to fight, it was never meant to dogfight, but when things got really tight, and they were low on fighters, this thing could be used, if it was used properly, to fight off enemy planes. The 30 millimeter gun on the back, I think, I think it's 30 mil, or not 30, sorry, 30 caliber. I'd love it if it was a 30 mil, but it just push this plane out of the sky. But the 30 cal gun on the back did really well. Actually, I think it's 50 cal. No, sorry about that. Um, yeah, 50 cal. That 50 cal gun, the two 30 cal's and the 23 millimeter. 23 millimeter are the real. Those are things that are really trek you. Those will absolutely destroy just about anything they hit. This guy's asking me if I remember what plane the enemy was in. But it's usually safe to assume wherever the AAA is firing, that's where the enemy is. Oh! I found him! Shit. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, well, it seems our P-40 friend is pretty dead. If I had to come up for a new word for how dead he looks, he's cadaverific. So let's just wait for that A6M2 to come get a nice piece of shiny IL-2 meat. Uh, and I'll continue my ground attack roll as usual. Um, let's hope he's stupid enough to, gra to come in on my tail. These medium tanks have made it across that bridge, which isn't necessarily a good thing. And I really do want to get my... Uh, damn. I do need to get my munitions off before that A6 figures out where I am. Or else I am. I am screwed. I can maneuver a little bit But just hit all those soft targets. So bridge is out. Tanks that were on the bridge are dead. just to kill stuff and wait for my death to come. It's funny, I actually got a medium tank stuck on the bridge. Sweet. This is the worst part, knowing you're gonna die soon if that enemy plane ever finds you. And having to wait for him. careful when I do that because I don't have my combat flaps down so I don't generate nearly as much lift um, when I get close to the ground. So let's remember to put those down for the next run.
see if I can actually get that medium tank that's stuck in the bridge. Yup. So we've got now 3,000 points, 42 ground kills. I couldn't care less if this Japanese fighter found me and shot me down. Because I've more than doubled, probably, well actually almost tripled his score. Just cleaning house. Alright, so let's see. I've got enough ammo with which to defend myself if I meet him, so I'm gonna head back and rearm again. This match is taking a lot longer than I originally thought it would. So, I will be. I'll be a nice guy, and I think I might cut to the action if there is any. Maybe not. Yeah, probably not. Let's just keep flying. Look at this beautiful little plane. Anyways, uh... Huh. I've been thinking, if I ever do, hit 100 subscribers, subscribers, I'm nowhere near it, so I don't know why I'm talking about it right now. Uh, I want to do something special, so if anybody has an idea on what I should do, put it in the comments. Hell, I might even just do something for 50, because 50 will be a milestone for me. So if you've got, if anybody has an idea on what I should do for 50 subscribers, put it in the comments. Tweet me, quote unquote, on Twitter. I don't, I don't care. Uh, I rarely, I rarely use the Twitter. I just have it there, so I have something for my channel, an another place for my channel to exist. Hopefully, get my name out there even more. I might make a Facebook page for it sometime. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, I think, to be honest, I don't want to give this Japanese guy satisfaction of getting four kills in a match. I already have the satisfaction of 43 ground kills, two decimated armored columns, and a dead bridge. Three dead bridges, actually. So I think when I land, I'm just gonna get out of the plane, call it a day, end the match. That is if he's not already there. I have a hunch he's probably headed back to his base. If not, he's probably circling over mine. <laughs> waiting for me. So, it's gonna take me forever to figure that out if he is over mine because of the sun right in my face. I don't think he is because I don't see any of our AAA firing. Or do I see anything up there? Alone. Alright, yeah, I think... He thinks it's time for this match to be over. I don't think there's any way I can win. As unfortunate as it is, I was hoping for a times four on this, but... Oh well. So I think when I land, I'll J out of the plane and I'll... I'll give this guy the win. He's got... I mean, he's got three kills. I think he's earned it. He seems to have been a good pilot. Of 
I'd rather I would rather land now, lose the match, and not have to pay the repair costs. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Anyways, I'm landing. I am going to skip ahead. Oh shisa. Triple A has started up. Never mind. There we go. Found him. Now, let's hope he is stupid and aims for my fuselage, because that is probably the most armored part of this plane. Um, but if he so much as hits the wings, if the wing goes red, I'm dead. It's a nice little rhyme there, but we're not here for rhyming, we're here for killing. Well, maybe I can win this. All he has to do is get shot down by my AAA, and he's already pretty damaged by the looks of it. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Is he turning? He is turning. Oh, this might be my lucky day. He might be stupid enough to come into a head-on against me. Okay, he's not turning. He's still flying away. These are the times when I like to use my use up my web. Uh, get my speed up for something like this, a little fight, or a chase. There's no way I can catch him, so my only hope is that he turns around and comes at me. And yup, he did that as soon as he got out of the flat coverage. And him being damaged, I think all I'll have to all that I will have to do is hit him a little bit. So he is critically damaged. I am not. I am still perfectly fine. He didn't even get a shot off at me. He's damaged enough to the point that I can actually outturn him, which is kind of funny. So, like I said, this thing could be used as a fighter in a pinch. Yeah, I found that this plane could be incredibly trolly if you end up having to fight it. So. I mean, I've, I've knocked the shit out of him. All that's left is for him to crash into the ground, which he just did. And that is the end of the match. Congratulations to me. I tripled his score. 43 ground kills. One air kill. IL-2M, ladies and gentlemen. That, this thing is a beast. Let's just wait for their ticket counter to go down, and I will show you the immense rewards that I just earned from this, because I know I probably got over a thousand lines. Final Blow and Thunderer. Solo. I, I must add. Solo in an IL-2M, I carried the team. Let's see what we got. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I was wrong. I didn't get over a thousand. Or a hundred thousand. But I look at this research that I got. Let's do my research. Get that 95 octane fuel. Those covers, the engine injection, and the 23 millimeter cannons. That IL-2M just got maxed out. 56,000 lions, 8,000 modifications research, and 17,000 vehicle research. That is the power of ground attack, ladies and gentlemen. And with that, I'm signing off. I'm Maverick. Until next time.